Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful week thus far. Today I'm going to be doing part two of my GC Couture collection. Part one was the accessories, so part two is going to be just my backpacks and my handbags. So before we get into this video, if you guys are new, you already know what to do, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Please also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And then also to my returning sus subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in with me today you guys know i truly appreciate you and all the support that you've been giving me thus far on my channel please make sure to leave your comments down below because i do read them and respond back guys all right so let's just jump into this video hopefully it will not be super long um before we get started just know that all these bags that i'm showing you guys i've already done a bag reveal for them so if you want to see the bags more in detail just go over to my channel and watch it because all of these bags have a video for them all right so let's start off with this first one i purchased this bag from poshmark and um i don't remember the exact name of it but I think I first saw this bag on just one FC channel. I'm not 100% sure, but I know I saw it on one of you ladies' channels that I was watching. And I like the bag because I like the top zipper on the bag. So that's why I went on the hunt for it. And I did find it on Poshmark. I think I spent like 20 something dollars for it. Not much at all, but it does have a top zipper. It does have a front functional zipper as well too. It has the back handle and then it also has the traditional scraps on the back. Okay. So that is back backpack number one and that's what the bottom looks like. And it just has the pretty pink floral um, flowers on the front as well too. All right, so my next backpack which I do know the name of because I kept the tag for it. This one is called the Black Multi Off the Chain Backpack and I got this from Burlington for $28. So that's it right there. And like I said, I got it from Burlington for 28 bucks. Okay, this one has the snap pocket in the front with the Juicy Couture logo on the front, and I love the color on this bag, how bright and beautiful it is, and you can match this up with any accessories. As you can see, it does have the full leather scraps on the back, and I love the bags that have the full leather scraps on the back. And that is what the bottom looks like, and it does have the zipper compartment in the front, and all of these bags do have like either a zipper compartment in the inside or a front pocket as well too. Now not all of the bags have that but most of them do. And this one has the top handle right here where you can carry it by the top handle. Okay and this one does not have any side pockets. Okay that's the next one. And then I also have two full size ones. Um, this one right here is the Juicy Couture and this is the full size backpack guys um, right here so hopefully it's probably not in frame let me see if I can back it up for you guys there you go it does have the top full leather handle so you can carry it by the top if you would like um, it does have a functional front zipper compartment as well too and then it does have side pockets as well this one is called the word search um green r zip says it all backpack yeah i'm trying to read these small words y'all but it's called the word search sm green r zips says it all backpack okay so that is the name hopefully that is focused so you guys can see and i got this from tj maxx for thirty dollars okay and this is just what the back looks like i like the the boss print that's all over the bag i think that is really pretty and that is the bottom it just has a full leather black patch on the bottom 
Um, I have already carried this backpack before. I didn't do a what's in my bag for this one, but I did do a bag reveal, so you can see that as well too. The next time I carry it, I will do a what's in my bag. Um, I may just do one just to show you guys um, what all fits in here, but yeah, that's backpack number three. So the last backpack is this one, and this one is so, so pretty. I have not yet carried this one yet. This one is called the Blue Denim Paradise Palm Wordplay Backpack. They be coming out with some names for these um, handbags, y'all. <laughs> um, hopefully that is focused. If not, I'm sorry, guys. Um, and I paid... $33 for that from Burlington and I really just love this beautiful denim color on here I love how they have the Juicy Couture written in all the different colors and this one does have the um, Scraps on the back as well, too. Now these ones I don't really care for. I mean they are comfortable But I wish they had the full leather ones. It does have the back Handle on it as well, too where you can carry it kind of top handle if you wanted to if you didn't want to carry it by the scrap handles and it does have two functioning side pockets and then a front zipper compartment as well too okay so that is all of my backpacks so i'm going to go with my totes next now this particular tote um i've done a what's in my bag for it does come with a crossbody i just cut off the crossbody um scraps but yeah these are well this is actually the scrap that come with it i didn't cut this off um but yeah it comes with a little pouch as well too that you can wear on your shoulder or just carry it if you didn't want to carry the whole big bag i just use it as a catch-all and this bag i i like the size of the bag but i'm not crazy about the floral print on the bag when i first saw it I loved it for the size and then I carried it and this is just too much going on for me like way too much so I'm not sure if I will ever carry this again I might just give it away to someone I'm not sure yet um I'll figure it out I mean it is a nice bag it holds a lot but the floral is just way too much for me there's too much going on this one is called the white multi rose two in one pull out pouch tote so that is what it's called. I got this one from, I believe I got this from like TJ Maxx or Burlington, one of the two. But that's just what it looks like. That's the bag, does not have any feet on the bottom. And I've already done a bag reveal and a what's in my bag on this bag as well too. And it has a snap closure at the top, okay? So, that is the fifth bag. That's the tote. The next tote is going to be this one. And I purchased this one from JCPenney. It still has the tag on it. This one is called the Multi Crown Over D tote bag. So that's just the name that they have on it. And I really love the color on this book bag. I, I mean, told I love the um, crowns, the colorful crowns all over it. I just have not yet carried this bag. When I bought this bag, it was closer to going into the end of the summer. So I just didn't carry it yet, but I will be carrying it. But because of the color, you can kind of get away with this bag being year round. But if you got this bag or purchased this bag, you can definitely wear your bags whenever you feel like. But I'm just saying, because of the colors, you can kind of get away with, you know, wearing this year round. So this is what the bottom of the bag looks like. That is the front. It has the Juicy Couture logo in gold. And all the accessories on the bag are in um, gold as well, too. And the zipper is in gold. It does have a functioning back pocket. It is a top zip, as you can see. So this is a really large bag and it does hold a lot, guys. 
So I will be doing a what's in my bag on this hopefully within the next few months when I move into this bag. But that is the next tote bag. And this bag, I believe I spent like about $30 for this bag from JCPenney because they had a sale going on as well too. Okay, so the next tote bag, I know you guys have seen this one on a lot of our channels as well too. I really do like this bag. I've done a what's in my bag on this one as well too. It, it is a top handle carry, but you can wear it on your shoulders as well too. It does have two functional zip pockets, does not have any feet on the back, I mean on the bottom, and no back pockets as well too. And I've only worn this bag once so far for uh, breast cancer awareness. I wore this bag. So still in really good condition. The name of this one is the Macaron Satchel. Okay. So I love the color on this bag. Super, super cute. And it is a top zip. Okay. So that is that one. The last two bags, guys, are going to be my Speedies. So this is the first Speedy. Love the color on this bag. It does have that raspberry tart on the side of the bag. And then I love how they have all the beautiful Juicy Couture written in all the different shades of pink and with a little bit of white. It does come with the little heart tag on the front that says Juicy Couture. It, all the hardware is in gold and then this one is called this one is the black pink multi logo speedy satchel okay and I got this one off of 6 p.m. I originally was going to order the raspberry tart one because they did have it on 6 p.m. But when I saw this bad boy, I was like, ooh, I could get a little bit of the raspberry and I can get some um, glam with the beautiful pinks and white on here. So I was like, why not? So I picked this one up instead. Absolutely love it. Only thing I wish is that they had like the raspberry at the bottom. Oh, that would really have set this bag off. But it is what it is. Absolutely love it. Think it's cute and it does fit a lot. I did do a what's in my bag on this bag. So definitely check it out if you want to see what all fits in this bag. Love the carry. It did come with a crossbody, but if you are new here, then you don't know. I do not wear any bag crossbody, period. Not happening. I'm 5'4". I'm not wearing a crossbody. That's just not me. If you're watching this and you love wearing crossbodies to each his own, you go girl but me not doing it don't like cross bodies so i just took mine off and i just carry a top handle okay so my last bag y'all i had to go on a hunt for this bag but i was so surprised when i found this beauty right here this bag is absolutely gorgeous i saw this on a shorts video and when i saw this i was like oh gotta go on a hunt so i went on the hunt for it nobody had it on like poshmark macari um they didn't have it on 6 p.m or amazon or ebay but i did find this in store they actually only had one left in my store so i believe i got this from marshall's and when i saw it i snatched it up didn't even have no kind of contemplating none of that just got snatched up went straight to the register and checked out so this one has the heart on the front as well too in red and it just says juicy couture i love the leopard print on both sides of the bag i think that is so cute but you guys already know if they had that leopard print on the bottom this would have really set this bag off again but it is what it is the brown is not bad but i really think it would have been gorgeous with that leopard print on the bag on the um, bottom of the bag and then of course it has that deboss look on the front as well as the back and it is top handle it did come with a crossbody but you guys already know i took that off it has the top zipper as well too and gold and like i said most of them have functional pockets in the inside as well as the zipper pocket on the back wall all right guys that was my last juicy couture bag 
Um, I absolutely love the bags that I have, but I will not be buying any more Juicy Couture for right now. I think I have all the bags and backpacks that I want for from Juicy Couture, but as far as the accessories go, I will be purchasing more of their accessories because I love their card cases and their heart-shaped coin cases, so whenever I see those, I'll definitely be picking those up, but as far as the bags go... I'm done with all the Juicy Couture bags for right now. Um, right now, for 2023, I'll be working on my luxury handbags that I want to purchase. So, you guys will be seeing that for 2023. But, yeah, I just wanted to come on and share with you my Juicy Couture accessory and handbag collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!